name is George Edinson, and I'm VFX.com. Today, I'm going to show you a brand new plugin called M Title Movie. <laughs> Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com coming at you with the M Title Movie overview and quick tutorial. M Title Movie can be located in your Titles browser in Final Cut Pro. M Title Movie allows you to recreate a lot of the opening title sequences to your favorite movies or shows. So as you can see here, we have 46 different titles already available with preset animation, fonts, colors, etc. So really quickly, why don't we go over our opener here? So we've got our scene where we're just walking through. As you can see, we had some flickering lights and such going on. I give my intro and then we go right into our title, which is M title movie number 17. Now with this title, of course, you can select your title and go into your title inspector. So as you can see, we have different options for animation. We can animate in and out. We have our main camera Z rate, and I'll get to that in just a second. We have our contents position, rotation and scale. But of course, we can use our on screen controls to handle that as well. Changing our text is no problem at all. And you can see that this particular title will automatically scale your first and last letter for you. Now, let's say we wanted to mess with our main camera Z rate and we want to push the camera through our text at the end. When using this title, you would use your on screen control, scale your title down, and then select your Z rate and you can push up through the text. Now, when we play back, you can see our title still comes into frame and then the animation of the camera moves through our text and then would allow you to go into the next scene. So why don't we work with the title really quickly? I have this footage flying in over this castle. I've already applied M film look and a bit of grading to give it a better look with our title. For this example, we're going to use M Title 43, which is the cleverly named Henry Pillar and the Freaks of Nature. So we'll select our title. We'll click Q to bring that in over our video. Now, as you can see, when we press play, our title is coming in and our background disappears. That's quite all right. All of our titles do have the option as you scroll down in your title parameters to change your opacity, color, etc. I really like the color on this. So we're just gonna go to background opacity and let's lower that a bit so that we can see our background here. And of course we can make additional changes to our parameters, such as our prism amount, zoom amount, zoom blur, color, etc. Why don't we change our title as well Here we go, Harry Power and the Motion of VFX. And of course, as always, you are able to use your on-screen controls to move that text around. Now, as you can see, your light is adapting based on where your text is moving. So you see that light around our text here. Really, really cool looking. And something else that you'll notice is the text moves freely while your fog is staying in place. If we would like to make further adjustments in this title, you can see here that we have middle circle color. And that is going to make those fog adjustments behind our text. We have our particles option, so we can scale up our particles if we would like. Particles opacity. We can also make adjustments to our lighting, which is very, very important. If you wanted to make those adjustments, you don't have to go over to motion. You can do those here in Final Cut.
All right, thank you for checking out this quick M title movie overview and tutorial from motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.